I'm going to make a Sri Lankan sweet called kaludodol. For this recipe, I am using two cans of thick coconut milk and half a bottle of treacle and one cup of rice flour and three quarter cup of cashew nuts and quarter cup of brown sugar. To start this recipe, I'm going to open the coconut milk. You have to stir this continuously for maybe half an hour or one hour and cook it on low heat. For Normally if you are doing it um, traditionally it takes about 2-3 hours stirring, stirring, stirring but I am going to do it a little different on the stove and the honey and add the rice flour and sugar once this process come to a, the end you can add the cashew nuts so after adding everything I'm going to put this on the stove and stir it for maybe maybe one hour I'll show you in the meantime this is like making a thick custard you know you have to stir it a little bit all the time keep on stirring and according to the traditional method to get the darkness the blackness of the the, uh, the sweet they used to caramelize the sugar and um, till it's black and put it into the mixture but I am going to add Parisian essence instead instead of uh, the caramel so actually Parisian essence is a very bland essence so you can add it to sweets or the curries or whatever you want it to darken so I'm going to add the Parisian essence a bit to get the dark color a little bit more this is a really dark uh, sweet so I think a little bit more that's the color so that's all right so I had to stir this for a maybe an hour so I'll show you after I was doing this for nearly half an hour now but still another half an hour to go but traditionally when you are doing this if you are using the real coconut milk and the oil start bubbling up everywhere so this is not giving any oil so, but I think this will be nice anyway. I'm going to add the cashew nuts now and keep on stirring maybe for another half an hour. I was doing this for about maybe one and a half hours. Now it's, it's ready to go. To, I'm going to transfer this to a tray. And I'll show you how it looks like. I put that to a tray and then I pressed it down. And I'm going to leave it uh, for another hour. And I'll cut it and show you how it looks like. This is the kaludodol I made. So hope you will enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching.